Bob Wells, Cheap RV Living, challenge accepted. It's on. Any of you guys can put up to $10,000. I'll go sleep in the campground for a month. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. We RV pursuing freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, guys. It is. And so you might be asking, why are you challenging the <laughs> kindest nomad? Most giving. Someone we followed since before we even started RVing. Well, here's the story, and <laughs> there's a catch. We're going to share with you the catch a little bit later. Exactly. If you don't know who Bob Wells is, he has a YouTube channel called Cheap RV Living. Now, when Mercedes and I first became interested in the RV lifestyle, we started watching YouTube videos together, and it was Mercedes that turned me onto Bob Wells. Yeah, Bob Wells was one of my favorites. Yeah, because she really does like old guys. <laughs> John. <laughs> A lot of his videos are designed to help people that are nomads by circumstance, not by choice. Exactly. And if you've watched any of Bob's videos, you know that he's a beautiful soul. He's a beautiful man. Bob's one of those people. He gives more than he takes. Now, Bob's YouTube channel and how he goes about his nomad living is very different <laughs> than how we do it. Polar opposites. For example, we stay in RV parks. We glamp. I never stay at campgrounds. I hate campgrounds. Another example is we have a big, huge RV. I don't, I don't like RVs. And that's one of the, everything about them. Bob's a less is more kind of person. Yes. And us, we're kind of the bigger the better. Yeah. I think the one thing that we have in common is that dissatisfaction with the accumulation of stuff. Exactly. So we were both very interested in the nomadic lifestyle and going out and finding our freedom, independence, and adventure. And that was the same deal for Bob. He's, he's one of our heroes. He's coming up on, I think, 389,000 subscribers. So he, he's got quite a following. And he's a very spiritual man. So I'm Mercedes and I are sitting up at our desk one day and uh, we get a notification that Bob is going live. So we said, hey, we haven't seen Bob in a little while. So we clicked into Bob and we started watching. He was asked a question about RV parks. So then he started talking about what it would take for him to stay in an RV park. <laughs> and that's where he probably shouldn't have shared this. I don't have a clue. I'm sorry. Because I don't live in RVs, I don't know. I would never live in any campground. Uh, you, if you paid me, you couldn't even pay me enough. You, how much would it take me for you to make me spend a month in the campground? $10,000. Any of you guys can put up to $10,000. I'll go sleep in the campground for a month. And then I'll donate the $10,000 to, to, to uh, Howa. I don't want it or need it, but uh, I would then donate it to Howa. If you'll give Howa $10,000, I'll spend ten, a month in the campground. We don't comment a lot, um, but we decided to comment on this one, and we just said, We are the odd couple if we raise ten k for your favorite charity, Bob. Would you come stay with us in our RV park? We are stuck here for six months while our daughter gets therapy. I will. Now, you're not buying my time. Uh, I'm, oh, a month in an RV park. Uh, <laughs> do you hate me? <laughs> but it was really clear that we weren't going to get his time. I would do it. You're not buying my time. I got to have my privacy. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't want to hang out with us? You don't want to hang out with us, Bob? We'd love him to meet Sage. I mean, he looks yeah. just like Santa Claus. <laughs> he does. <laughs> she would call him that. He's willing to endure suffering in order to help others. <laughs> to be with, yeah, to help other people. We rarely get to watch him live. So the fact that we actually caught the live, it must be meant to be. <laughs> you can tell that he is not excited about staying at an RV park. Drive a, drive a dagger through my heart. Drive nails, boiling hot nails into my eyes. I mean, that's how I think about living in an RV park. Yeah, Bob, I bet you're wishing you had ignored us like all of the other RV YouTubers. <laughs> but you can also tell he knows that the $10,000 could help a lot of other people. I'm hopeful that you're not going to do it. And kind of me, I am hopeful. Think about the good we could do with, how we would do with $10,000. He's willing to suffer with us for a month, right? And um, to raise money to help other people. He's just a beautiful person. So the wheels started turning and me and Mercedes had, we went down, we talked to the manager of the park that we're staying at. We wanted to, you know, see if it would work. We should suffer too alongside him. And I think more people would want to give. <laughs> so maybe we could figure out like a 30 days of mutual suffering where he's in the RV park and we're out boondocking or something like that. Or if he could teach us how to boondock, because we've only boondocked for like a night. So if he could train us. 
to learn from one of the pros. That Train would be really us? Cool. I'm not a baby. Well, I. it's not that you need baby. Well, actually, you totally need babysitting. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> So anyways, you know, the truth is, is that we don't want Bob to come out for a whole month. I don't anyways. I think that it might actually kill him. So we can raise $10,000. Yeah. You come to our RV park where we're staying here in Florida because we're going to be here a while while our daughter gets uh, therapy. You come and stay with us for a week. So no, I think two and two. We got to split it, right? We, two weeks and two weeks. Well, let's split the 30 days of suffering. Like we'll share in the suffering with you. <laughs> we'll totally be out of our element with you. I think that's fair, right? Right. People will give to see us both in pain. <laughs> right. And so if we can, if the RV Odd Squad, who is an extremely giving yeah. community and helpful community, if you guys, if the RV Odd Squad can help us raise $10,000, for Bob Wells nonprofit. He will come stay with us for two weeks and then we will go out boondocking with him probably in Arizona or somewhere where he goes and he can show us how to boondock. We challenged Bob, but we kind of need your help. His 501c3 is Homes on Wheels Alliance. We have all the information. We understand times are tough, every little bit helps. And if you're not in a position to give to help us raise the money, if you could just share the video, that's free, you know, but just help us get the word out so we can torture Bob and- <laughs> We don't want to torture Bob, well, we want gonna... to raise money. Your donation would be tax deductible. We believe it's a great cause, it's a great 501c3. Bob does fantastic work. 90% of all the money that comes to Hawa goes to those in need and boy, they really need it right now. Yeah, because I mean, just everything is so up in the air and I feel like a lot of nomads we've had our wings clipped right yeah. now, yeah. you know? And so a lot is really gonna play out and we understand that times are tough and if you're one of those people that have lost your job, no worries, just share the video on social media. Like, just share this and let's get the challenge the word out on this challenge, right? That's free and it still helps. But, um, you know, if you are in a position blessed enough to give, um, please. please give. And yeah. we, we kicked it off with a hundred dollars of our own yeah, money to off. get this off from the RV odd squad. And so we went to the site, we looked it up. It's very easy to give. Bob has a couple of different things that you can give to, but one of the things that we'd like for you guys to do so that we can track it is if you can just give as RV Odd Squad so we can give it. Now you don't have to do this, but we would love to do that. Put a little note. We'll put a little note in there so we know where the money came from. So we're like, it's on Bob, you know, challenge accepted. We don't know how this thing will unfold, but we have hope that we, could we raise $10,000? I think we could, you Possibly, know? Possibly, yeah. I, I mean, I know times are tough, but you just never know. And I think that people would want to give to see us uncomfortable <laughs> and either way it's a win-win if we don't hit yeah. the 10 grand then the, the money that you are donating is going to a good cause to help other people you 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 uh, send a check to ten thousand dollars to homes on wheels alliance and i'll come and stay in your uh your rv park for a month what do you think about that sue ann that's a sacrifice and so we hope you enjoyed this video we hope if you remember the rv odd squad give as much as you can to hawa um, we're going to leave a link in the description below the video to bring you there and check out our next video which is where we did our first fundraiser for the honor flag network enjoy the video